Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCosta, and today I'm going to show you a little Boolean trick. Yes, believe it or not, I'm not all about just tools and stuff. I have methods, procedures, um, um, I write programs, and I do do Boolean. Um, some people don't understand that, think I'm just a tool guy, but eh, wrong answer. But here we go. Something I've been, I played with a couple weeks ago, and I just figured out and I, recently that it works, and it does some really phenomenal stuff. We're going to start with this one. Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm doing an x-ray, but I'm not picking a specific domain. I just site colon wildcard.org. So basically any .org. Don't care. I'm doing slash resumes. Now, why do you think that is? Because usually within the URL, the word resume is there. Now, I'm going to pick on the word hackers only because that's what I feel like doing. And we're going to hit enter. Now, assuming Google, boom, there we go. I love it. Like it. Love it. As you can see, I've been here recently. I've been playing with this for a while. Let's see how it works. Let's go to this one. Open them up. Oh, wow. Look at all those resumes in one place. Isn't that nice? Let's open up Matt from Bean Ears and see what we get. We got an email just right to Matt. Isn't that cool? Let's get out of that. And here's his resume. Let's open the bad boy up and see what we got. Boom, boom. Oh, we got an error. Not good, but that's okay because we already got his email and... We already know enough about them. Let's see what happens when we go to Rajeshtara Rukibra. Again, not good, but it's okay because watch what happens when we go on his his email. So it really doesn't matter whether we get to actually see the resume or not here because guess what? We're still getting enough. We know what they do. We got enough info. We can contact them. Let's go to this one up here. The hackers at the gates of dawn. That sounds interesting. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, twelve. We got about seventeen resumes. We got some other places we can go. Who cares? Let's see what we got here. Let's pick on. Oh, let's just pick on Roger Dinali. Oh, look at that! A full resume with a phone number, with an email. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Now let's see how many did we get. We may not have gotten as many as you think, or would like. We got 49 sites, and if each site averages around 15 apiece, that's a whole lot of resumes. Now let's see what happens if we take a step back. Instead of resume, we put resume. Now we got a whole lot more people, and look, resume, 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 all of dot orgs with the word resume. Now let's take it a step further and play a really big game. Sometimes it's not dot org slash resume. There's other things in between it. So let's see what would happen if we do a second wildcard and slash and do the same search. Now I'm picking hackers. I could pick anything. I'm just using hackers just to do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where Google's going to say nothing, and that's okay. Uh, so let's do resumes. We are in an org, and it still may not work. I don't know. This is actually a part of it I've played with a little bit. It works sometimes, other times it doesn't. All right, so it's not working. So let's see what happens if we change hackers. And it just could be there's no hackers to go to systems engineer. Let's see if that changes anything. So I love doing this on the fly with people. Now, this is where Google says, I'm sorry, you've done too many searches. I've done like five, but evidently that's too many with Google lately. Ooh, look what we get here. Resumes. Lisa likes resumes, and look where they're coming from. Just no hacker ones, but these are system errors. 3,320. 3, I mean, what else could you want? And let's see what happens if we take the resumes down to resume. Oh, another 14. Now, here's what you need to understand. Resumes, resumes, CV, spelling out crypto of a tie, bio, profile. These are all words you can do. Let's see what happens if we take this. And I don't know this. I haven't done this, at least not with this particular one. And let's put in CV. Now, it may have to spell. Oh, look at that. 35 more. And you can spell out crypto of a tie. Well, just because I can't spell crypto of a tie to save, my, to save my life. Never could. Um, and even though Google should know CV stands for Kumbatai, I've learned never to trust anything anybody does, especially systems. And it gives me nothing because it doesn't like the word curriculum for Thai. Uh, so let's see. What would happen if we, oh, I know. Let's take out the extra wildcard and go to a straight search in and see what we get. I'm not a robot, I swear. Nothing. Okay, so that could just be a lot of reasons. Let's go there and just give it a space. And there we go. Magic. Little playing. But what's interesting here to keep in mind, and I've said this on other videos, but this one specifically, let's go into this tool. This is uh, resumes. Uh, pictures. Let's go over here. Even though most are black and white already, we're going to make sure they're black and white. 
and we're going to go to it one more time and we're going to look at the time we're going to go in the last year these are all real resumes people that nobody gets a hold of let's see that's a real resume you can actually save this now you're probably saying well it's a picture what do I do with it well you stick it into OneNote let it get uploaded you right click say save text from picture and then paste it into Word and you got the full resume with the email addresses and everything so that's how you do that a whole lot of stuff going on in this one this is magic this is my super duper extra boolean trick but you're learning some other things here you saw a Google win which tells you last time you got into a particular page and now you know how to take pictures and get the text from the pictures so you have these resumes but look at all these people I mean these are real resumes and if you're not sure you were their samples example and stuff just simple let's see sample example uh, uh, spell it right Dean example let's just get sample and sample out the way and see what we get and see how many we lose didn't lose many we got some new ones now we get some we get some stuff that's not accurate but we got a lot of really good stuff a lot of really good resumes and that's just going in the last last year if I had any time that means these are recent look at all the ones you get now like I said there's some junk in here but there's a lot of there's a lot of really good non junk stuff so let's let's look at this one because I'm really curious Dean School of Engineering you've, okay so this is actually the Dean at School of Engineering that's an actual legit resume um, whole bunch of neat stuff but that's just doing this way and remember I didn't even use profile or bio let's see what happens and I haven't been we're gonna use the word profile we're gonna get rid of the word sample and example yes I'm a popular guy I guess everybody wants to talk to me about something stupid uh, and look at what we get now we're getting profile by let's see Let, let's let's the timing let's go to it only a year these are mostly black and white so I'm not gonna worry about that let's get rid of samples and example minus sample now the only problem with this is remembering uh, sometimes it, they you may be getting rid of real resumes that this is my example thing or something this is a cover letter with a profile with this Python all that he is a freelance software engineer software engineer software engineer he probably does system engineering here somewhere uh, and there's an email address I'm a happy camper let's see what else we have in here. ah here's another one let's see what we get here for, oh, nope 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 that ain't gonna work because that it's either an that is a template should have gotten rid of the word template it happens and there okay so not as many new ones recently let's check this one out oh look at this pretty emails social sites all sorts of neat stuff and like I said remember download upload to um, OneNote right click text from picture and you're good to go let's get out of the one year and get into the pretty much any time and there's a lot more and remember this is profile so you know we just say what let's go in here and check that profile over not leave any gap in it see what happens I left the gap because I was putting over not as much that's why you may want the gap but anyway there you go I mean and, and, and it's so good let's see what happens and this is something really cool because I don't do this much and we're gonna put in the word bio um, bio should get us pretty much any any since we're in Google bio biographical bio this bio that and a partridge in a pear tree and we get some bios and that's okay because it's what's in the bios that we care about so let's go into this one and see what we get Ooh, was born here blah 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 he's in part of the national research team he's this this is uh, the octus.org bios whatever there's enough information here to easily figure out where they're at who they work for and easily go ahead and contact them I mean this is not even a hard one to do um, so some really cool stuff here that can really do a, a lot for you and remember we're black and white I could do any color most resumes are gonna be black and white but pictures are too this person is working at Pacific mix or whatever the heck it's called so how would we do these well there's a few things we can do number one we can go to the we can actually open image in a new tab we can actually uh, go to the actual um, link but we're going to search for the image in Google we're going to see if we can find the same image we're going to let them know we're not a robot again Google at its best guys um, let it go in and then we're going to go back and see parts of biography tornado research okay fine and we're going to look to see if that picture is relevant to anywhere else forgetting these boom 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 none of these are good gentlemen nope 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 so in this case 
probably didn't do us any good. Now that's in this case. In a lot of cases, this methodology where you're looking for pictures will actually work. Let's try. One thing I'm noticing is these are all coming from the same exact domain. So all we got to do is go on to that domain and probably find everything and anything we want. So that's good. I'm not going to go any further. I think we've made our point. This, it all starts right here. This is your base. You're looking for any org, resume or resumes, bio, CV, everything else, and then put what you want and you will get what you want. Now, the thing to remember is I did .org. What would happen if we change .org to .com? And this is where some other magic may happen. We don't know. We're in images. Let's go back to all now. So let's get out of the images real quick. 5 million resumes. Okay, let's pick something. Uh, let's just pick developer. So we're looking for any .com and developers. 354,000. Any. And look, right there, right there. Now we can get rid of sample example. We'll knock some out. So let's get rid of sample example. Let's punch that bad boy. Probably knock it down to about, mm, there you go. And there you go. But remember, you've searched every single solitary .com at once. Now let's take it a step further and go back to add in our second wild card and see what that does. Another 15. That's fine. I don't really care. I just, I'm just adding people. Now let's go ahead and change this resume to resumes and see what we get. Another 28,000. And now remember, remember, we go through CV, we go through curriculum vitae, we go through the bio, we go through, there you go. I mean, it opens it up. Instead of searching a specific domain, you get to search all of them at once, quick, simple, and easy. And that's it. This is Dean DaCosta. This was some cool Boolean tricks along with a couple new tools, Google Win, how to take um, text from pictures, just a whole bunch of neat little stuff. But it all starts with this cool little string letting you x-ray all of a particular type of domain.